Hello and welcome to TYT Sports Locked Out here in beautiful Los Angeles, California. Champions League Tuesday today, and it was mighty, mighty fun to watch here at YouTube Space Los Angeles. Now, first off, we have three games today, three games to cover. The first will be the Gunners facing off against Borussia Dortmund at Arsenal at the Emirates Stadium on Arsene Wenger's 64th birthday. Would they get a win? Well, they have certainly been in form this season. Now, for Borussia Dortmund, Jurgen Klopp banned from the sidelines. He would watch from the stands on this very day. We'll pick it up in the first half. Marco Reusch's pass was simply off. And at the edge of the area, the edge of the Arsenal area, Aaron Ramsey with a mishandle and then Lewandowski out of nowhere. You would think that he would just let it go. He would pull the trigger and he certainly did not on this very day, at least not right now in the first half in the 16th minute. MK Tarion scored the goal the first time Arsenal has trailed in the Champions League. Who would have thunk? Who would have thunk at home with the form that they're playing in, these strong performances they have put in this entire season? Who would have thunk that they would go down 1-0? Now, later on in the first half, Jack Wilshere would race down a ball. He would pull up. He grabbed his Achilles. Now, for me personally, it looked like it could have been one of the worst injuries that we've ever seen, even though it didn't look that drastic. Fortunately enough, he would receive some treatment. He would go back on the pitch. Later on, Arsenal, this is the, this, you know what, guys? This is the way that they need to play. They need to not only counterattack when, obviously, their opponents do not have the right players, uh, uh, I don't know, in the right position, you could say, on the pitch, but just quick passes, quick, simple passes down the line. Bakary Sagna, the Frenchman, puts in a cross to Olivier Giroud, a Frenchman as well, and the American, Nevin Sibitich. That's why he fucked up on this play, because he's American. Now, him and Robin Weidenfeller had a terrible, terrible miscue. Ball plops over Weidenfeller, and then Olivier Giroud pounces on it, fucking rifles it into the back of the net. A little risky. He could have easily tapped it in, but okay. I, I like your style. Style points plus one. Doesn't show up in the box score, however. Sorry, Olivier. So then it is 1-1. One, one. And then later on, let's go to the second half. The 81st minute. We are still 1-1 one, one in this match at the Emirates. Arsenal trying to pull ahead. Borussia Dortmund trying to pull ahead. Gross Kreutz down the right. Sends a, a long, long cross well into the box to Robert Lewandowski. And the simplest finish he made it look like, though it would be so incredibly difficult for the most of us, but the way that he finished, 2-1 Borussia Dortmund, by the way, and the way that he finished, it was so, so magnificent to watch because he's running full speed. If he was a car, you could say that he was in a Lamborghini going 120. And then out of nowhere, he slows down his pace to set his stride perfectly, to connect with the ball, put it past Chesney. 2-1 Borussia Dortmund. They would win on this very day. And you know what? For Arsenal, who have 11 wins in all competitions this season, is it a bad loss? No. Is it a surprising loss? Yes. I think that could be argued. For Arsenal, they have to draw in Naples against Napoli. And then in a fortnight, they're going to play Borussia Dortmund in Germany. The Borussia Dortmund fans were loud, they were intense, and they were into it. However, in the second half, look, man, uh, here's what I'm going to say. It was a total, total toss-up. Who could have possibly won this match? Borussia Dortmund comes out on top. So now I ask you guys to chime in on the Twitter what exactly your thoughts were on this very day, on this match. And here those were. Theo Salpingidis says, lucky win for Dortmund. The game should have ended in a draw. I, I obviously don't disagree with that. It was up for the taking. Borussia Dortmund took it. Adam Jennings tweets at Bergstrom, unlucky for Arsenal. Played well for 40 minutes, but couldn't withstand the Dortmund counterattacks. I agree with that, obviously. Who else do we got? Molinaro tweets at Bergstrom, tough for Arsenal, who still have to play at Westfalen Stadion and Sao Paulo, two of the most intimidating venues on earth, certainly. Certainly. Ali tweets Eric Strom, Arsenal versus BBB was a great game. I think a draw would have been a would have been a four result. I, I assume he says a fair result. But what uh, what a group. Three teams with six points. So now here's the last point that I'm going to make on this clip, and then we will go on to Milan and Barcelona. A lot of people are criticizing the referee and Robert Lewandowski for a simple inadvertent elbow that he landed to the head. It looked like the, the nose... Uh, eyebrow area of Laurent Koscielny, another Frenchman, on Arsenal. It was inadvertent. He didn't mean to do it. A yellow card is fine. 
any guy who is trying to elevate themselves, elevate themselves up and try to head a ball to one of his teammates is simply going to try to lift himself up like this. And yeah, his elbows may have been a bit high, but it was inadvertent. It, it was not something that he intended to do. So give him a pass. Give the referee a pass. That's all I'm saying. 2-1 on this day, Borussia Dortmund. Leave a thought in the comments section below. And please do me a favor. Subscribe to TYT Sports.